Let us pray. Creative God, breath of all life, through whom all things are created and sustained, all sons and daughters, flocks and herds, all birds of the air and fish of the sea, you walked this earth as child and creator. You touched the soil, quenched your thirst, embraced this world, brought life and light, love and laughter into dark and death-filled lives. Creative God, breath of all life, through whom all things are created and sustained, we bring to you the sacrifice of a contrite and willing heart. We pray all of this in your name. Amen. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life anew. That I may love what thou dost love. And do what thou wouldst do. On me, breath of God, until my heart is pure, until with thee I will one will to do and to endure. Breathe on me, breath of God. Till I am holy fine, until this earthly part of me goes with thy fire divine. Wait, before you do anything else, let's take a deep breath together. Worship is as necessary to our lives as breathing. Now this is a fairly major claim for me to make, and yet I think about what breathing does to sustain us, and I can't help but applying it to how worship sustains us as well. Here are some observations. Worship is a time and place where we are inspired to breathe in the Word of God and the story of Jesus Christ. As God is praised, we are refreshed and replenished and given new strength for new life. Worship is also an opportunity to cast off or expire, to breathe out all those things that we do not need, the burdens that we carry. All those things can be given up to God. We are made new in the casting off and making room for life and love. Worship is also an experience of conspiring to breathe in the Holy Spirit in discerning our role as the body of Christ active in the world, bringing about the kingdom of God. So take another breath. Together as one body of Christ, and pray that as we worship together and breathe in the Spirit's inspiration, breathe out, casting out all our burdens, and breathe together with the Spirit, creating worship. Just breathe. Listen to Scripture, Psalm 33. Let us hear God's Word. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise Him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to Him on the ten-stringed ten lyre. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all He does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of His unfailing love. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, their starry host by the breath of his mouth. 
He gathers the waters of the sea into jars. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere him. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Let me waiting humbly for your will. May I hear your whispered wisdom, let me hear you say be still. Let me know the gift of waiting, waiting is not wasted time. May I know your restoration, on shore and I will find, I'll find. Let me linger in your presence, open windows of my soul. Help me listen so intently. a new word come into your life that held significant meaning. Several years ago I learned a new Hebrew word that is used to describe God's breath, wind, or spirit. This Hebrew word is ruach and is often made more distinct by the use of Elohim, meaning God's spirit as wind, or even ha-kadesh, meaning God's spirit or God's breath. There is power and life in this word, Ruach, because it is God's breath, God's wind, and God's spirit. This word is used in four distinct ways in the Bible. We first see Ruach Elohim, or Spirit of God, used in Genesis 1, verses 1 through 2, as the heavens and the earth were being formed, and the Spirit of God, Ruach Elohim, hovered over the waters. Ruach Elohim represents the very life and presence of God, first in creation and continuing throughout the Bible. Ruach is what gives life to all creation. Even as Adam was filled with breath, so we too are filled with this breath of God. Ruach is also present as it empowers leaders through scripture. The Holy Spirit is the force of divine inspiration from God that moves and empowers people to lead and to speak for God. Prophets like Moses, Isaiah, Sarah, and Deborah are said to have the Holy Spirit, or Ruach HaKodesh, resting upon them. 
It was Ruach that gave wisdom and inspiration to these leaders to bring about God's work in the world. Even as the Jews fled Egypt and the Spirit of God parted the sea in order for them to pass on dry land, in a moment of collective inspiration, the children of Israel were able to spontaneously compose a song of praise because Ruach HaKodesh rested upon the entire people at once in, re in reward for their great faith in God. Another significant way we see God's Ruach is in relation to salvation and being born again. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. This new creation being born again is brought about in us because of Ruach, God's Spirit at work within us. The old has gone and the new has come. A final use of this word is even more relevant to us today. Ruach HaKodesh is a personification of the divine voice speaking to us through the scriptures. As we study, listen, and grow in our faith, Ruach HaKodesh continually communicates with us in emotional, personal ways, informing, proclaiming, lamenting, or praising. God's breath, His creative power, His holy Ruach is responsible for all that is created, the universe, the earth, and even the spirit of man. Let us pray. God of rising sun, be the warmth that I feel. God of gentle wind, be the air that I breathe. God of refreshing rain, be the cleansing I need. God of sacred space, be the peace that I crave. God of setting sun, be the rest I desire. Amen. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be the Lord's command, but it's also an invitation for us to be still in His presence. Here's one of my favorite ways of enjoying God's presence and also calming my heart and my soul and my mind. It's called the breath prayer. This is ancient. It's centuries old. I'm going to lead you through a very simple way of doing a breath prayer. Get comfortable where you are and take two to three slow, deep breaths. Relax your body. Turn your focus toward God's presence with you. Inhale, Prince of Peace. Exhale, Rule My Heart. Prince of Peace. Rule My Heart. Repeat several times if you want to. 
Now try this breath prayer. Inhale in Christ. Exhale, I have everything I need. In Christ, I have everything I need. Or maybe simply inhale, be still and know. Exhale, that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I encourage you to use one of these simple breath prayers throughout the day, perhaps when you're waiting when you're worried and anxious, when you need that reassuring sense of God's presence. I've done it at stoplights or in grocery lines, sitting while food is cooking and my children might be loud in the background. It is a centering and a way of remaining in God's presence no matter where we are. to the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to, to the, the Holy Ghost, Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and, now, and ever shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. 